Hey, Leo, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? How was your weekend? I hope you had a great time. So let's check out the energies for uh, April 3rd through the 7th and see what's going on for you. Let's see what Leo got to know. Let's come up to Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Two jumped out, Leo. Okay, the King of Air. So this week you're going to be dealing with the King of Air, that energy. It's a it's a very intelligent, articulate, uh, very communicative individual or energy. Uh, there, it's more communicative. Like I keep I, every time I think of the King of Air, I think of an attorney or a judge or um, a diplomat because they're very, very knowledgeable in how to use their words or communication. And uh, they're just they're also deep thinkers and um, like a professor maybe even at a university any type of teacher. So this might be a call for you to really tap into your, the way that you articulate, or you may be meeting someone who's going to have something for you to learn uh, about how to present yourself, how to present your, like a workshop or your ideas, maybe writing a book, going back to school, maybe you're writing a dissertation on something. Okay, and then the seven of fire, it feels like you're going to have to defend your beliefs. So maybe you are. Maybe you are dealing with an attorney or, or a professor. You have to defend your point of view. You have to be articulate. And you have to prove your point of view with facts and research. So this is going to be interesting, Leo. This is going to be super interesting what it's going to look like. So it also talks about choosing your battles wisely and... Um, yeah, defending your point of view, but do so because if you are dealing with the king of air, you're going to have to do it in a way that makes sense to him. They're going to be fact oriented, not feeling or not just because I say so. You know what I mean? It's like they want to know why you believe that you're going to have to. And it's good practice, actually, to really learn how to defend yourself without getting irritated or feeling on the defense, it's, it's just like a debate, learning how to debate, and learning how to hold space for your belief without getting upset. We can have disagreements with people without losing that friendship or making a huge scene, right? It, that's a lesson in diplomacy is how to be articulate and not, not take offense to it. It's just, oh, wow. Okay, so learning how to have a conversation about something that's you know, maybe a hot topic, a controversial topic, without being emotionally attached to that conversation. You know, it's okay to have passion about your beliefs, but you don't want that passion to become too heated in a in a debate where it just becomes craziness and chaos, and you know, it, it doesn't prove anything. It doesn't help anything. So a beautiful a beautiful exchange of ideas brings knowledge and wisdom to all. Right? It expands everyone's awareness if people are willing to listen. And so this last card for you, it's interesting, it's renewal. So this might also be an interesting opportunity for you to take, take into consideration your beliefs, what you've been doing with your life, how you've been spending your time, your money. Um, think about things like, is this, is this who you really want to be? How are you putting your energy into, into the world? How are you contributing? How are you showing up? So it's, it's nice to actually take time to reflect on that. And uh, renewal, it might even mean that you change a few things. You turn into a different direction with your life. It's not a bad thing to change your mind sometimes. If, that, if what you were doing doesn't work for you anymore, or it doesn't resonate with you anymore, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay. And, and wow, okay, you might have to actually defend your choice of changing your mind to someone. And that actually feels very true. So if you feel like you have been pondering your life and you feel like, oh, I just don't know, this doesn't feel right anymore, maybe you want to 
I'm, I'm just getting a download of like, maybe you want to drop out of law school. Maybe you want to drop out of med school. Maybe you want to do something totally different. But everybody's like, making, you know, they're, the pressure is kind of on you. Like, what do you mean you don't want to finish grad school? Well, maybe I don't. And so this is where you can defend your beliefs, defend what you want to do peacefully, articulately, and it's, it's going to be okay. It's just, it's time to renew and be you and be the, be the Leo that, uh, yeah, be the peaceful lion, be the peaceful lion, but you can roar, but it doesn't always have to be ferocious. It can be, it can be calm and it can be concise. And it doesn't take any of your power away, right? You can just speak to people in a gentle way where they can hear you. Hmm. All right, Leo, let me know what happens. It's, it's interesting. I hope you have a beautiful week. All righty. Bye.